Cantaloupes are awful. <laughs> You're a freak if you like cantaloupes. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. Evening. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you for on Patreon. So follow us on Twitter. Can't ring the bell. Follow the notification squad. Bang! <laughs> on my personal YouTube channel. Links right down there for you. Fat maggot. Oh no, you you dropped some of the worst fruit ever. Uh, anyways, uh, there's only a, a few videos that are gonna be the via Skype like this. Uh, it's just uh, we ran out of time. Good. Uh, and so most of the videos you're gonna be seeing will probably be, will probably be together unless it's an old one or the few that we had to do during this session. Uh, yeah. Sorry, that's what you have to do. Uh, today, uh, we had to do this because the festival, it just started. Uh, this is uh, a festival starting July 1st. Um, say the name? Pond the Cantaloupe Festival. The Cantaloupe Festival, yes, that one. Pandapar. Wari. Pandapar Wari. It is a yearly pilgrimage of 21 days to Pan... Panda, Pandapar, Ma, Malahastra. Uh, Pandapar is the seat of the Hindu god v Vithoba, also known as Vithal. I'm sorry, guys, there's a bunch of names here. Um, but yeah, so that's what, that's what it is. It's a pilgrimage basically of 21 days um so yeah that's what we're gonna learn about cool All right, ready yep gotta count down <laughs> now that's just gonna make it uh, the habit even worse the fact that i have to keep doing it uh, yep three two one dang da 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 that's what it sounds like. Who are these people? I don't know. Where are they going? I don't know. Who is leading them? I don't know. It's not obsession, neither a superstition. It is that power which unites everyone with one force, one aim, but many names. Pandurana. Pandurana. On 11th day of waxing moon period, in a Hindu month of Ashar, the spiritual process of Vari begins. Whenever this time comes closer, Pandarpur. The town of Vithoba becomes happy to welcome place for all Varkaris. But you must be wondering, what is Vari? Yeah. Pandas I am. or footprints of Sant Dhaneshwar Maharaj and Sant Tukaram Maharaj They're not are carried distancing. in a palki from their respective shrines to Pandharpur. of Maharashtra and Northern Karnataka, bringing together the true essence of Marathi culture. Mm -hmm. 
rotis. I think. Almost half a million of people walk 150 miles for 21 straight days singing bhajans throughout their journey. Hold on. Just 150 yeah. miles? Apparently, yeah, that's what they said. 21 days. That's a lot of walking. People here believe on their one God. They have that faith that He is everywhere, seeing them, saving them, looking after them. This is the only place where a male God, Panduranga, is called Mauli, meaning a mother. Huh. When you walk with Varkaris in Wari, you will see everyone calling each other Mauli. Yes, that is a message they want to share. They see God in every person. participating equally in Wari. There were no differences between people based on gender, caste or any other thing. For them, every person walking along is a Varkari, a Mauli, a Lord Vithala himself. This was my first time to participate in Wari. But not for a moment, I felt like an outsider. Just go through this experience once and tell me, do you find Varkari in yourself? Did the sound, did the sound just cut off? Yeah, yeah there's no sound. Oh, that's why I looked at you to make sure I was hearing and seeing the same thing. I wonder if they got copyrighted and they just <laughs> decided to. <laughs> we know how that is, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. One, yeah. Obvious. It's so funny because, like, every like when the group texts me, they're like, "Oh yeah, there was a festival." Right. <laughs> Just like every every three every. days, there's a different yes. festival. But uh -huh. also to walk 150 miles is insane. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's. I'm I'm doing the calculation here. You all could probably do it off the top of your head. That's 21 days. But they right? said. They that said yeah. Yeah, so they're they're walking seven, eight miles a day for three weeks. And they're walking to a specific place, but does that factor in getting back? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, like, they keep uber busy after that going back. Because to get the 150 miles, if it's that way, and it's not like a 150 right. miles round trip. Uh... It's like walking down to San Diego. From us. Yikes. <laughs> Holy cow. Somebody let, yeah. me, somebody let me know because now I'm like, is it 300 miles that they walk? Round trip. Yeah, because they've got to go back. Unless unless, unless it lands them somewhere and they're, they, they're able to take transportation in some way, a train or something. How many of the festivals are about pilgrimaging? Pilgrimaging. <laughs> Good question. The first two that come to mind are this one and obviously the one in the mountains that the movie, the uh, avalanche story. But we, uh, we those the, the Sikhs, because we learned about that one at the border, remember, uh, in Pakistan? Yes, yes. That, that the Sikhs uh, do a pilgrimage to sometimes um, and that they had to do that special thing through the border fence, remember? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess I'm not sure clearly, how many include clearly pilgrimage. it's like a big thing is it like a big thing kind of like because in christianity fasting is a big thing obviously like mm -hmm. it, I, I think fasting is actually a big thing in most religions uh, it is but well and there's the pilgrimage to mecca that muslims are supposed to take 
at least once in their life. Yeah. Yeah. And is a pilgrimage just going somewhere? That's basically what that means. Yes. A pilgrimage is a journey. So it doesn't have to be walking. Not No, not necessarily. No. I mean, hmm. just pilgrimage, meaning you will go that way. But obviously, some of them do necessitate the specific way you pilgrimage being walking. Some do do that. Hmm. I wonder if they're, I bet they're not doing it this year. Um, if they are, it's got to be ma- drastically modified. Yeah, that's, like, everything India does during the pandemic needs to be drastically modified because there's such a close knit yeah. people and there's like, yeah. they're just on top of each other and they don't have a problem with that. <laughs> Um, like I do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I was thinking, I was actually thinking about it while we were watching it and how, um, you know, we're meant to be relational. We're human beings are meant to be relational. That's why the, one of the deepest forms of brutal punishment is isolation mm-hmm. uh, is to keep you separated from other human beings and to be alone without interaction. So mm-hmm. we're, we're designed for, for interaction and proximity. Yeah. Isolation sounds awesome. Yeah. No. <laughs> Not so much. Anyways, um, I don't know what you say if you if you are celebrating this, but if you yeah. are um, happy, I, that's all I assume any any. Yeah, Pandapuri Wari. We can preface it with happy. Happy Pandapuri Wari, everybody. <laughs> uh, yes. That was awesome. Um, and I... I let us know if anybody's actually doing a pilgrimage this year. Um, I know a lot of stuff is canceled, but... Uh... Yeah, and if you've done it before, let us know. Put comments. Tell us your story.